Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, Patrick Kaiser representing uh, Huawei, and uh, I think you're getting the uh, clear message of the uh, challenge. The first thing I want to highlight is the, uh, the challenge, I think, financially that this market is facing is, uh, as, as uh, Pepe showed, the, the, it's a common industry curve where you're showing grow to, uh, growing data traffic due to the tsunami that Kathleen focused on. So this is sort of building things up for me. Um, and the dropping revenue, or the basically the AMPU is what's dropping. Your average margin per user is going to be a challenge, and I'm going to cover the uh, topics today that uh, the CDMA community is is addressing in order to uh, um, uh, make make life easier financially on the service providers. So I'll be covering the various techniques to uh, try to improve spectral efficiency and so on and so forth. Um, two of the key areas I want to focus on. Two of the key themes will be. Um, spectrum because it's such a critical uh, uh, asset to our customers and then flexibility um, from a business perspective our customers are all different types of flavors both internationally as well as in the US so those two uh, key things uh, spectrum efficiency and, and uh, flexibility I want to address those uh, uh, that's going to be my two primary messages today that I want to focus on so um, I'm just going to give you a quick background. So uh, Huawei actually has uh, uh, quite a bit of experience um, on EVDO, having deployed the, the uh, majority of the uh, uh, EVDO networks, uh, and then also having provided end-to-end -end solutions on the device side. So we're a company that um, covers covers uh, the industry quite well, along with my other esteemed colleagues here and their, their various uh, companies as well. So where things are today, uh, 1X Voice, and, uh, for providing voice capabilities is, is really the, your starting point, and then EVDO Rev A is basically your starting point for data. Uh, where we see things going, and I think uh, uh, each one of the vendors here would agree that uh, there is going to be a significant improvement for 1X Advance, and I'll cover the more details on that and the different uh, features that are providing you with those advantages. And then on the data side, you've got uh, Rev B as well as your DO Advance. So, some very impressive uh, improvements to help our customers move forward with the challenges they're going to see from this data tsunami coming. Um, I'm going to skip over the last part here with respect to uh, um, the, one of the things I do want to highlight is we did at, at the, the tagline at the bottom, there are actual real world opportunities going on with Rev B right now. Most of these opportunities, you're not going to see them in North America at this point due to spectral uh, challenges. So. There might be an opportunity for 1x Advance to come and play there to free up some spectrum, but uh, most of the opportunities you're going to see near term will be internationally, and we've actually deployed uh, two pre-commercial networks in China as an example with China Telecom. So I think uh, also Joe, uh, Joe highlighted two other um, uh, customers globally that have also gone to Rev B. I just want wanted to give you a flavor of why you might see it more internationally than why you might see it in North America. Um, so 1x Advanced, so the, uh, the presentation I've got here is broken up into two components to show how we're improving the spectral efficiency. The first one is 1x Advanced, and you'll hear since terminologies is EVRCB. EVRCB is going to give you, uh, with the first phase of, of 1x Advanced, uh, the biggest uh, benefits are uh, the initial deployment of Qlik, um, and then uh, EVRCB, which is new bow cutter. These uh, benefits, um, EVRCB has been available for quite a few years here. Uh, we'll give you a, a gain of about 1.5x. The reference is the, the prior vocoder, which was referred to just plainly as EVRC. Uh, the big advantages are going to be when you jump to uh, the new handset and the new channel card. So it's important to understand, you know, what what is the financial impact to our customers. So there's clearly going to be a financial impact to them having to deploy new channel cards as well as new mobiles. The uh, advantage of having uh, the new mobiles is there fl there's flexibility there to uh, gradually do this. You don't have to rip out the existing mobiles. There's coexistence of the um, current mobiles with the new mobiles that will be presented into the marketplace. So again, that whole flexibility is critical to our customers. Um, the advantages you're going to see, so there's a 3x advantage and a 4x advantage. Uh, there's also a trade-off with respect to, I haven't really gone into the details on this at all, but I, I will quickly highlight it. There's a wideband vote cutter also available. So you'll see numbers like 4x gain and also 3x gain. There's a trade-off there between the voice quality that you get with a, a wideband vote cutter uh, versus the maximum gain. So again, another point of flexibility. If you've got a customer like USCC that might be focused heavily and their key mantra is to deliver certain quality, 
you're going to see these guys focusing more on um, the new vocoder uh, versus other customers that may be spectrally limited. You know, you're going to see them focusing more on the uh, on, on the 4x benefit and getting more capacity in their network. Uh, the next chart again goes into flexibility. So some customers are going to be coverage limited. They're also having, let's say, they have more common complaints of in building. Uh, we want our, our our customers to be able to. Uh, make phone calls when they go home that we don't want compliance that they're not being able to get coverage at home. So these particular customers that we're looking at will have the flexibility to get a huge coverage gain. And that coverage gain, you know, a lot of people will say, well, coverage isn't really going to benefit you when you've already got a cell site that's deployed. But uh, quite the contrary, you get that in-building advantage, which, which is uh, uh, going to be huge moving forward, especially with respect to data. Your data losses and your impact to data is going to be much more significant. And then, of course, the obvious, the Forex capacity gain is phenomenal. There's been nothing like that uh, to date in this industry with that big of a jump. So this is how our customers are going to get back to um, uh, improving that AMPU, improving their margins by, by uh, getting more bang for the buck out of that spectrum that they have.